Hey everybody and welcome to Stranger Things with Jay, Jack, and Mike. My name is Jay. My I'm name is Mike. And I'm Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are here uh, to introduce uh, this new podcast uh, with the Jay, Jack, and Mike crew. Uh, the same people that brought you Westworld with Jay, Jack, and Mike. And Leftovers with Jay, Jack, and Mike. We're here to uh, talk about... Uh, the show that's scary but awesome at the same time. I, I feel it's more suspenseful than scary. I don't know, Mikey. But it, I guess the the fun part about starting the show, we're doing uh, a rewatch of season one leading right into season two. Uh, each podcast episode is going to uh, cover two episodes. What I'm really excited about is when we rewatch season one, Mike will be join, uh, like experiencing it for the first time. Yeah, so some of you may know this if you listen to other podcasts that I do. Uh, I am not a fan of horror or feeling any sort of sense of dread outside of the existential dread that is inherent in shows like The Leftovers, which I eat up like candy. Uh, But this idea of just like being scared and being startled, especially jump scares are like probably the thing I I like least in the world. I'll admit that I I gave it a little bit of a try. My wife encouraged me. She's watched the whole first season at this point, and she is relishing at the idea to get to rewatch with this uh, with me, by the way. But I watched part of the first episode and there was a certain part where it just got, it got too scary. And there was a jump scare and a loud noise. I'm like, Nope, I'm done. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, Tune on The Simpsons, watch that for the rest of the afternoon. I'm fine skipping out on this element of the cultural zeitgeist. I know of certain elements. I know that there's a character named Eleven. I know that Barb is a thing. Uh, <laughs> that there's a there's a kid with that has a lisp that's really cute and precocious. That's basically all I know. Uh, but that being said, as you said, Jay, it's going to be a really exciting element for you guys to sort of take in, things in from a rewatch perspective, having known what happens, and me going in completely on a first watch basis, having no idea what lies ahead of me, that we'll all be in the same boat once season two officially hits Netflix come October. I'm trying to remember what happened in the first half of the first episode that was scary. I'm sure it was like the first scene or something. I'm sure there was some big way to start off the the show that caught everyone's attention, but promptly diverted my attention, which is to say <laughs> no judgment, obviously, on those that love the show. I'm hoping to fall in love with the show as well. It just wasn't my thing at first, but I'm happily glad to be dragged kicking and screaming uh, to, to weather my way through the parts that I might not enjoy about the genre into uh, hopefully enjoying much more of it than not enjoying it. Well, I'll, I'll say this, Mike. I don't I don't like being scared either. I, I do not like horror movies. I do not like scares. Uh, but this year has been the year of me going to vaguely scary movies. Uh, Get Out uh, was the first one this year, which I loved, which again, was kind of more suspense than horror, but I, I went full uh, tilt and saw It which is straight up horror Ooh. really scary and i watched I, it with my eyes closed for certain parts yeah and i and i know that stranger things again though i don't know too much of it i know it does draw on it is, a, is an example of like one of the, some of these pop culture elements uh i know that the goonies is another thing i actually have read the book it but the, again those trailers for that the new version just like kept everything in at arm's length even though i i know what happens and i've read the source material you put too many jump scares in a movie man that's that's not a ticket that mike bloom is buying to sit in your theater and munch on popcorn for but, an hour and a half. but i will say that i will i will then say that stranger like uh, it was way scarier than stranger things i think stranger okay. things is like a gateway uh drug to uh to horror films i it's stranger things made me comfortable seeing a get out or or an it uh, but th- those things are way scarier than this so i i think so, me as well somebody that doesn't like being scared it's i think you will enjoy the ride jack what, what yeah, are your I, thoughts yeah <laughs> well I, i'm still i'm still trying to remember maybe i i think the opening scenes are riding their bikes right uh no i think the the first scene kind of has a, a jurassic park esque uh that just that 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 uh that prologue um, I, I thought it was this, I thought it was a scary scene where the one of the kids gets his pants caught in the bike chain. That's that's pretty scary. The kid gets his pants caught in the bike chain. I, I, I'm making a joke. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I just can't I can't remember anything scary at <laughs> the beginning of the episode. Well, Jack, you're just a lot braver than Mike and I. Okay. Yeah. You I, to, you, I, I don't want to. You are much, you're, see. you're much longer in the tooth than either one of us. You've seen <laughs> scarier things in the world than no, either I, Jay I, or I, I have. have. <laughs> 
<laughs> you look in the mirror all the time, so it's, it's, it's I, just your more experience. I, I lived through the Cuban Missile Crisis. I mean, there was that was tough. Um, but uh, either way, we are excited uh, to to do this podcast. I I recently rewatched it. Uh, uh, the wife and kid were uh, out of town for a weekend. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna watch Stranger Things again, and I loved it even more the second time. I'm excited to watch it again. Uh, with uh, with Mike watching it the first time, Jack, I think it's your first time uh, rewatching it. I started watching the show because of Jack. It was his suggestion. Like, you got to watch the show; it's so good. Um, so uh, excited to podcast about it, and excited to podcast about it with you, the listeners. We love your feedback. Like all the shows that we do, uh, a big part of it is listener feedback. Um, now, we will say uh, for Mike, if you're sending in feedback for the first season rewatch, do not spoil Mike. Uh, but again, I, I think I see the emails before Mike does, so I can at least make sure. I, I will protect you, Mike, from spoilers uh, as hey, we don't go along. Don't, don't, don't tell Mike on Twitter, hey, can you believe this happened? <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, but you can email us at strangerthingsjjm at gmail.com. Once again, at strangerthingsjjm at gmail.com. And also, you can give us a phone call to our venerable phone number, 385 309 0311. Once again, it's 385 309 Zero three eleven. Call any time. Uh, uh, our first episode should be up uh, in a week or so from now, so look forward to that. And there will be an episode just about every week after through the end of season two. So um, excited uh, for this fall podcasting with you, Mike. Yeah, I'm super excited as well. It's been a minute. We were talking about this before we recorded. It's been about three, uh, at least like three and a half months since uh, we ended the leftovers, which is the last time I appeared on uh, Jay and Jack proper. Has it been it, that it, long? I, it's been it's been a minute, uh, but it's, it's been a fun summer. It's been it's felt like uh, simultaneously long and short at the same time. But you know, falls ramping up. A lot of exciting new television is coming about. Stranger Things is one of them, and it makes me even more excited that I get to talk about TV with you guys once again for the season. And uh, it wouldn't be a, a podcasting season with Mike if there was not like 10,000 other shows that you're on. Uh, but so what's <laughs> what's going on in your world, Mike, for uh, this fall TV season? I know you got a lot going on. So I guess the one constant that I have, my Desmond Hume here, is that uh, this is actually advertised on several other podcasts on the Jane Jack Network. Uh, I do a movie podcast with ESPN's AJ Mass, who is actually on the Leftovers podcast once upon a time called The Hamster Factor, uh, where AJ has... Show me a film that I've never seen before, and we gauge, uh, compare, contrast our opinions on it. We have seen a couple of horror films very begrudgingly for me. I try <laughs> to give as much like objective appreciation, but we've seen things like Wreck. Uh, we watched The Blair Witch Project, uh, it, movies that I really did not enjoy <laughs> watching, but I could at least appreciate. Uh, the big thing that I've got going on going on in the fall is that I am officially becoming a part of the Survivor Press Corps, which I know is a, a very uh, sought, talked about subject here on the Jane Jack Network. So I'm going to be doing Survivor exit interviews for Parade Magazine. I just finished covering Big Brother 19. If you all out there are Big Brother fans and you uh, haven't checked it out yet, just go to Parade.com, uh, search for me, and there should be all my Big Brother exit interviews there. I'll be doing Survivor exit interviews with the hero, healer, or hustler that's been voted out <laughs> every week on uh, on Parade. And in addition. Uh, on Rob has a podcast proper. I have my own weekly Survivor podcast that just launched as well called RHAP B and B. I'm one of the B's. The other B is Liana Boris, who is a fantastic podcaster in her own right. Essentially, what we do is we bring on a different podcaster every week to just play a bunch of games and segments uh, about the show. For instance, the most recent one we did with Rob Cesarino, our inaugural podcast. We uh, we did a fashion watch for some of the. Uh, the the bathing suits that the contestants were wearing in their photos. We tried to play who said what, uh, trying to attribute quotes from their bios to the contestants. We made some predictions, some survivor superlatives. It's going to be a lot of silliness. I've already had so much fun with it, and I've been so uh, grateful for the reception that we've gotten towards it. So a lot of survivor. I'll also be covering SNL for uh, post-show recaps as well, which also premieres next weekend. And I'll be uh, finishing up my tenure on the survivor historians too. So again, a lot of stuff Ooh. going on. Uh, I'm my exhausted for you. <laughs> my, yeah, my plugs probably took the double the length of our actual <laughs> podcast, so I'm happy to uh, expand this out even more so we can put more ads in just to make us a little bit though. So I'll do my part. Went from a two-minute podcast to a ten-minute podcast. <laughs> exactly. I'm, do, I'm doing my part here. Well, uh, I, I, I do have a question about Big Brother. How many years does it take for a season to end? 
they've uh, they've expanded in the past few years to take three months. I mean, I think it, it's a network thing. They don't really have anything on in the summer, so they figured, okay, we can we can stretch the show out to uh, to three months. It took ninety two days. This is it season. on? Is it on like three times a week, four times yep. a week? Three, my, three times. My mom, three. my mom loves it. She gives. She always every time I'm out there. Do you watch Big Brother? I go no. <laughs> I'm I'm excited. If you have any like belated takes from your mother about this most recent season, I am dying to hear them. Oh, she probably hates somebody and likes somebody. I don't know. <laughs> well, this was this was a very polarizing season. I'll leave it I, at that. I've read some of the. Some of the comments, and, and, and some people thought that this guy should have won, or this person should have won. Oh, that's 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 the the least of the concerns, considering uh, <laughs> what, what happened in that house. Well, I heard it was the worst season ever. That's what some people are saying. Yeah, that's what some people are saying. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. All I know is that um, it was my first season covering Big Brother, and if anything, this cast provided a nice prime opportunity for me to uh, hone in on my interviewing skills. So I'm grateful for that, at least. Again, if you're a Big Brother fan. Feel free to check that out. Otherwise, I will be uh, hitting the Survivor circuit starting this week, which I know is part and parcel with Survivor with Jay Jack and Colleen coming back for another season as well. Yeah, we're, we're going to go record uh, our uh, preview show right after we record this. So uh, our stupid points game uh, will be a set uh, right after this uh, hey, short hey, intro hey. podcast. and. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. A fun cast, excited, uh, excited for new cast seasons are always fun because you, you you never know how it's gonna go. Um, and when you base it on the little kind of intro clip videos, um, it, you kind of just kind of make the most of what you got. This with is it. the first time I've watched every video before we record this, and I can honestly tell you I have no idea. <laughs> but uh, excited for you it's to a, be. It's, a, it's the same statement. It's just a different person. <laughs> uh, but, Mike, excited for you t- uh, to be uh, part of the, the, the full press team for it um, and looking forward to uh, all of the great content you're going to be doing. Um, and, yeah, we'll be it here with the Stranger Things crew. Uh, and that's about it. So there you go. Um, again, subscribe uh, here. Uh, on wherever, I guess if you're listening to this, maybe on the uh, whole enchilada feed, there will be an individual feed. Uh, you can see all of those at jayandjack.com slash iTunes or go to jayandjack.com. You can find links there and streaming players there um, as well as being able to subscribe to the feed on any of your favorite podcasting apps. Um, and just like any new podcast, reviews are helpful. I know we haven't even done a full one yet, but if you if you trust the J, Jack, and Mike brand of podcasts. If you've loved these 12 and a half minutes so far, <laughs> half of which were plugs for things that are not this podcast. I expect five stars. Five stars. Oh, man. All right, guys. We'll see you on the first episode. Uh, until then, hasta luego and goodbye. Bye. <laughs>